My wife and I visited the wilderness battlefield in 2002, but we really didn't pay very much attention to it. We should have. At the time, I was much more interested in Chancellorsville. But now, having just finished Gordon Ray's book, The Battle of the Wilderness, I really regret that oversight. This book is a detailed account of the first engagement between Lee and Grant. Of course, they were two of the 19th century's greatest military commanders, and this battle between them might have been the most significant duel since Napoleon bumped into Wellington on a field in Belgium. But there's absolutely no comparison between this battle and Waterloo. We all know that the Battle of the Wilderness was one of the top four or five battles in terms of casualties in the entire Civil War. Even though there was no clear winner, some people argue that it was the decisive battle of the war. Grant and Lee were each extraordinarily aggressive, and this battle pitted Lee's resourcefulness in taking on an army twice his size over a grant, against Grant's relentless pursuit of his long-term objective. And that objective, of course, was the total destruction of the Army of Northern Virginia. In very clear and, I might say, vivid prose, Gordon Ray describes the strategies, the command structures, the events, and the people that made up the battle. He brings the whole thing to life. I think the adjective that best describes his approach is even-handed. He quickly and economically describes the objectives and the obstacles that each level of command faced. He gets right down to the individual soldier level. He distributes blame and praise equally. And not only does he bring this whole thing to life, he manages to create suspense in a battle where we already know what the outcome is going to be. My main takeaways from this book were these. The first one was how the nature of the battlefield screwed up communication and troop movements for both sides. In other words, I now have a much better understanding of what everybody was trying to do and why they couldn't pull it off. My second takeaway was how the personalities and the physical condition of individuals influence their performance on this battlefield. And finally, I have a much, much better appreciation of the similarity of the longer term problems that both Grant and Lee faced. Each of them had to put the right people in place who would do what they wanted, when and where they wanted it done. Do I recommend this book? You bet. It's not for everyone. If your interest in the Civil War is only casual, this may be a bit too much for you. But if your interest is more than that, you'll love this book. I liked it so much I've started Ray's next book, which is about the Battle of Spotsylvania Courthouse. So there you have it. The Battle of the Wilderness, Gordon Ray, a very solid recommendation.